Hey guys, in today's video I got a G-Wagon and it's my first time driving, but I'm going to be driving at Mercedes-Benz World on their off-road course. And if you want to drive a car off their amazing lineup, make sure to click the link below and book your experience today at Mercedes-Benz World. Let's get into today's video, I really hope you enjoy. So, have you driven before? Yeah. No. No? First time driving? No, too. Okay, nice. I haven't done it yet. Um, come around this side for me, Flip. Of course. Door hand, is this one just here? Yeah. So it's just there, all right? All of, your, uh, all of your seat controls, just here? Yeah. Okay, so you said you never driven before, right? No. Okay, cool. So with this, you can see it's kind of set up for me at the moment, so it's quite yeah. far back and quite yeah. low. At the best of the size, but it's quite awkward seeing over the bonnet of this car. So what we'll do, we'll raise yeah. you up a little bit straight away. Yeah, I like being high, I think I was always. Yeah, uh, you hit the, the higher the better in this one as well. Yeah. And then if we roll you forward, do you feel like you're close enough to the pedals now? Yeah. Yeah, you want to go a bit closer or is that alright? That's alright, yeah. yeah. Nice. Seat position feel okay? Yeah. Good. Steering will feel like it's in the right position? Yeah. Yeah? Does it go if any higher or is it? It does, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, see this little adjustment just here? Yeah. You can just use that kind of push, pull, up and down and yeah. it just kind of... That's good. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Feel alright? Yeah. It's just, we're in park, so we're not going to move. Yeah. Press down on the gas a little bit for me. How many rows? Doesn't matter, just, just get a feel for it. And then onto the brake pedal. Good, just do it a couple of times. Gas brake, gas brake. Good. More so, just because that brake pedal is a little bit higher offset than that gas pedal. Yes. I found yeah. when I first started driving this car, I was almost hitting the side of it. Yeah. Feel alright though? Yeah. Good stuff, mate. So, fully automatic today. Now, Yes. Your gear stick is just on the right hand side. See, it's on the steering column. So, yes. yeah. that one just there. Yeah. So, how are you feeling? Ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, good. Foot on the brake for me. And put that gear stick down into drive. There Excellent. And we will just, yeah, go ahead and then right at the end. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just kind of, you could just let it roll for now, mate, to be honest. And then just get a feel for the pedals down here. So, just take it nice and smooth. But, like you said, that. That brake pedal is quite sharp, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Nice, Sorry, I'm just going to put that in there. Thank you. Yeah, Cheers. Right, let's crack on. So, how are you feeling, mate? Are you looking forward to it today, yeah? Yeah, a lot. Mm. And you said you like you like the G-Wagons, yeah? Best car. Ever. Best oh, car. It's my favourite one. Okay, so good for a car for you to drive with me, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. We are going to drop left into the into this road just here. So yeah, kind of steer quite late, and then just roll it in just here. Nice. Cool. Nicely done. Cool. All the way down to the end, and then you'll see there is a barrier that's up. We're going to go straight through the barrier, and then you'll see some rocks. We're going to stop just at those rocks. Okay. Yeah. Roll it in, and then you see the rocks just up there. Yeah, we're gonna go over to there. Yeah, we'll come to a stop just before then. So is this for an hour? Yeah, so you do you do it an hour, so aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You go over the rocks. So come to a stop just before the rocks. Nice, cool. So before we crack on, we're gonna make kind of one setup change, all right? Yeah. So we're in high range at the moment, which is like normal driving mode. Yeah, I'm going to go into low range. Exactly. Press low range just there. I'm going to knock the disc for this one. No. no. So um, just clip the gear stick up into neutral just up there, so ever so slightly up. So just down a touch. Perfect. And then back down into drive. So pull the brake perfect. All the way down into drive time, please. Excellent. Um, so you know how uh, low range works and everything? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So whenever you're ready, no gas, no brake, just let it roll through here. No, nah, keep rolling through. But yeah. So as we go round to the right, you're going to see there's a bit of water um, 
just round here. And you see there's two wooden beams in it? Yeah. yeah. So I want you to try and balance on those, mate, alright? But you're going to lose sight of them over the bonnet quite quickly, okay? So, come to a stop about there. Does that look right? Yeah, but come to a stop just there. That actually looks really, really good, mate. What we'll do, we'll put the cameras on, yeah. and you can use the yellow bars just to kind of balance along. Yeah. Alright? All right. You're ready, sir. Just let it roll through here. And then what we can do, we can cheat a bit more. Stick this camera on. Now you can see below. So, just the tiniest bit of... Yeah, nice. If you see too much of one side, as we're looking down, you can just adjust accordingly. But, I'll tell you what, that was pretty much dead centre. Yeah, that's worth being good. Excellent. Cool. So, when we're driving around here, mate, speed of anything around kind of five, six miles an hour is good. Yeah. When we get to some of the deeper puddles, to be honest, As you can see, we've got some kind of ducks chewing in the water over there. That's where we're going after that. Straight oh, off. Um, but uh, in some of the deeper water, we'll bring that speed down a little bit. See the red lights on? Yeah. We're going to head through that rocky road just there. So on a bit the of right steering. Yeah, yeah. These aren't quite as sharp as the first ones, but just kind of let it roll through here. Nicely done. Yeah, just let it roll. Nice work. say there's a couple of areas where we'll put your window up just because of the uh, you get quite close to the branches but other than that yeah. you're all good okay. so what was it today then did you just come down for a drive mate or was it uh, driving just look around the museum yeah nice yeah came down last night stayed in a hotel in oh well brooklyn's hotel Adelson. oh okay nice mm. how was that all good yeah it's yeah. good and you said you had to look around the building and everything, or are you going to do yeah, it after? Yeah, after. Nice. Yeah. Kind of nice to kind of do this, and then you haven't got to rush after that of you. It's kind of yeah. quite chilled out. Yeah, nice. Cool. Just be aware through here. So just take it nice and slow through here. You can see where the ground has kind of eroded away quite a bit. Yeah, just... So yeah, I'll just kind of let it roll through and take it through nice and slow. You can see this rock is quite loose. So, yeah, just let it kind of cruise through. Done. Good work. And then we will go straight on. See those wooden beams over there? Yeah. We are going to head over those. Now be aware, one of them, so you're not going to need any gas going over them. Yeah. But it drops downhill quite so quickly. Break. Yeah. And one of the one of the wooden beams is almost kind of, there's quite a big gap between one of them. So you'll see what I mean. So let it roll. Tiny bit of right steering. Good. So, on the brake here. Good. So stop us there. Good. So just let it roll. Good. Stop us there. Good. So no gas. Stay on the brake. Yeah. Good. Just ease off the brake. Stop us there. Good. So you don't actually need the gas. It will move anyway. Hill descent control. Does it have that? So it, it does. Yeah. Once you put it into uh, into low range. See this G here? 
Yeah. That was comfort before we put, we put low range on. Yeah. And then it puts it into G mode. So yeah, keep cruising through. Nicely done. Nice and smooth on the gas here. Then we will go all the way around to the left. So just let it roll from here. It's quite deep, quite tight through here. These are the S bend spins. So from here, all the way left, all the way left. Nicely done. Good. So be aware, you've got a tree root on this side. So straighten the wheel up. Good. Off the gas. Let it roll from here. Keep it left now. Good. Good. Yep. Nicely done. Sounds like this is <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Nice. And you can see it's quite tight between those two trees. So. Go left a bit and then. Yeah, give it a second. Just because we don't want to get too close to these branches. A bit more left steering now. Good. And now around to the right. All the way around. Yeah, nice. Excellent. And we will go straight on from just that way. Passenger, it feels like nothing. So we're going to go left then, right here. So all the way left now, all the way left. Good. Then right down here. Yeah, and then right down there. Ooh, right, yeah, nice. Excellent. Over these big bumps just here, just let it roll through. Doesn't need any gas over these. Keep that wheel straight there. Nicely done. And let it just cross over there. Yeah, nice work. To be honest, Lynn, don't worry about balancing on these. Once you're on them, you're off them. They're so small. Left. So keep cruising ahead for now. Yeah. Careful of this. Big drop just here. That's right. Excellent. And we will make our way towards that hill up on the right hand side. That one there? Yep. That one So, over this little mound and come to a stop just before the start of the hill. So, first hill we're going to do today, mate. Alright, now, smallest hill out here. Yep. This car will go up here really easily, really nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. But, we're going to crawl up here, alright? I really want you to focus on a smooth, patient throttle. Yeah. Alright, so when we get to some of the steeper hills, that's going to help out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, as they go up here, Flynn, what they do is they go up, can't see the ground anymore, so they start steering. Mm -hmm. Alright? Don't need to. Yep. Once we've got ourselves lined up, just keep the wheel straight the entire time. Yeah. Alright, ready, ready to go? Yeah. Good, whatever you're ready, mate. Take something nice and slow. Straighten that wheel there. That line's perfect. Just keep the wheel straight from there. Yeah, nice work. Nicely done. Come to a stop just about there. Cool. Easy work? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Takes down now on the brake, so control the speed with the brake. So exactly what you've done with the gas there, where you eased onto the gas. Now just like ease off the brake. Yeah, perfect. And just before... Um, just before we kind of level out, a little bit more braking because there's quite a bit of a drop at the bottom. Yeah. So it's just about here, just there. Nice work. Good. Yeah. Yeah, keep it easy enough. Yeah, yeah. But don't forget the rear wheels are going to be going over that as well. 
Which way are we going now? We are going to go through that big bit of water just there. Now this yeah. is the deepest part out here. No gas, just let it roll through here. And which way we can go? Right through? Straight the way through there. So not out the other side, but like almost keep right pretty much. Nice work. about 700 mil, I believe, in this. When it gets to 600, what it does, I believe, it shuts off the air intake, which is in the yeah. drill. Yeah. Yeah, nice work. So a couple of months ago, when it was like, you know, like middle of winter, yeah. pretty much every puddle you're seeing out here was about that deep. Yeah. It was heavy. Keep cruising ahead. Again, you've got a bit of a drop there, Flynn, and then we're going to take the first left Nice work, round to the left. Yeah, nice. Next, as it opens up, we're going to go right, and you'll see. We're going to go right, and then there's a road just behind those kind of uh, the grass over there. You can yeah. see that road that goes left. Yeah, that's the one we're going to take. It's still quite late because you've got all these kind of rocks and logs just on the corner here. They're just a yeah. little bit awkward. But. Nicely done. Good. So stop before this or? No, nah, just kind of let it roll through. Yeah, I would say yeah. put your window up through this one though, Flynn, just because again you have those branches. Yeah, let it go. That should be good. Nice work. Cool. So we're going to be driving probably about kind of 17 degrees through here. Yeah. Um, doesn't feel too bad for you, does it? No. No, it feels way worse for me, mate, because it's all on my side. Yeah. All right, so keep rolling us through, and then you'll see there's a bit of a that right turn coming up. Yeah. We're going to take that right turn just there. Now, same as the first hill, just take your time. You've got wooden yeah. beams each side, and you've got a rocky uh, rock each side at the top as well. So, yeah, just take your time up here. Good. Straighten the wheel up there. Fully straight. Fully straight. Excellent. Keep that wheel straight for now. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. As the car levels out, off the gas completely. And now steer all left. Excellent work. Good. Nice. Let's straighten that wheel there. So you're now driving probably about 17 degrees your side, what, 15 degrees. And it will, yeah. as you can see, it, begin, it will like, it will level out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, the kind of natural lay of the land, everything falls right. So yeah. you might find yourself that we're kind of drifting into the bushes a bit. Mm -hmm. If that happens, just a little bit of left steering. Good, yeah. Living up to to the hype. Doing well, mate. I've always wanted a Brabus G900, but I, I'm now driving this. I think this will do. Yeah. yeah. This will. This will. Uh, this will do. Yeah. Nice, mate. Yeah, I mean, you see, you can see with this, you know, you almost yeah, don't need any more, do you? you no, know? definitely not. You now, thinking of the power of this, and then what the 900 horsepower on the Brabus G900. Well, you see, like, through this stuff. Yeah. You see when they take a straight acceleration, right, the they lift up. Yeah. You know, it's just so much. I mean, that does not 60, like four and a half seconds. 3.9. Yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah. it's Silly, silly time for a car that weighs that much. I'll say 6.2, is it? I think, I think the G400 6.2. Yeah, probably something like that, mate. So this will still. Die. Oh, yeah, it's still punchy. Yeah. But, um. It's not scary. Like the other one. Yeah. That's really good. Just be aware as we head out of here. See, you've got all the overhanging bushes on the left? Yeah. Um, just stay quite late left. Yeah. Just so we don't collect kind of too many of them. Um, it's quite awkward seeing out of here, so we can put the camera on again, mate. You'll just see it's an awkward kind of angle. Yeah. Um, nicely done. Straighten that wheel up a little bit there. Good. Excellent. And it drops down and left. So take us down on the brake, Flynn, and then we're at the bottom. We're going to go where that car's just come from. So yeah. all the way left now. Good. And then we will go, yeah, we're going to go right. Stay on that brake just because you've got a couple of big drops under those left wheels. Good. 
So how old are you, Flynn? Fifteen. Okay, on nice. Tuesday. Fifteen on Tuesday, yeah? Like last Tuesday. Oh, nice, yeah. mate. Happy belated. So yeah. was this a birthday present then? Yes. Ah, yeah. nice. Nice done, mate. So only a couple more years till you're driving on the road then, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Probably not on one of these first. <laughs> that would be a big first car to learn in, wouldn't it, mate? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Do you think you would want to do kind of manual when it when it comes around? or? Yeah. Yeah? Straight on. Straight Definitely a Mercedes product. Oh cars. yeah. I, I've been looking at the Brabus smart cars. Okay, nice. Really cool. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. The four five one, uh, the t which is the twenty ten. Yeah. Around that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because no, they're really expensive. But yeah, they're like classics, aren't they? So yeah. Like they're not, but you know. The Brabus, yeah. So. Nice, lovely. Just be aware, it's quite a tight corner up here. You've yeah. got these two trees. It's a little bit awkward. So. Stay right and then go left. Yeah, pretty much. Just again, be aware of the tree on the right, but yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's pretty much the uh, the idea. Perfect, excellent. Yeah, a little bit more left steering. Good. Yeah, nice. Again. bound to clip some leaves and stuff out here yeah. obviously but yeah no Which way? Uh, just down there so Flynn you've got in the uh, ground just here you've got these wooden beams see them yeah now I like to keep my right wheels off those wooden beams so just keep the right right yeah mm. and then just kind of let it roll through just because one of them is a very steep drop yeah yeah nicely done good yeah so from about here just kind of let it cruise Nice work. So, Flynn, you like your cars? Yeah. Are you an F1 fan as well? No. A little bit? A <laughs> little bit. Not big on F1. More of just kind of a car fan? Yeah. Yeah. Nice work. Again, be aware through here, it'll be quite deep. And then we are going to go... We're going to go like right then left. You'll see there's a cone and we're going to go left by that cone. Yeah. Sorry? Planes coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of them landing in today, mate. So going in that way? Yeah, right, then left down. Just past where that cone is. Actually, don't say, yeah, left into here, Flynn. Nice. And just be aware. So this is a rutted road kind of thing. Just yeah. be aware. It's going to drop away quite a bit on the left, just here. Mm. And it's quite bumpy through here. So just take it nice and slow, mate. You can see where, how much deeper it was recently. Mm -hmm. So it is slowly beginning to drop away a little bit. So what is your... So the G-Wagon is your favourite car then, yeah? Yeah, always. Okay. Three-car garage, what would you have then? One of these. Yeah, you'd have one of these. I have the 2009 SR65 Black. Okay, nice. Uh, probably... Another Mercedes. Um, SLS Black. SLS Black, yeah? Yeah. Nice. There was one of those, I believe, on the first floor here. I don't know if it's still here. Okay. But yeah. So we used to have, um, obviously not the same as an SL65, but we used to have SL63s on fleet here mm -hmm. years and years and years ago. I saw an SL65 the other day. Not the black, the 2006. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that was nice. But when you see those cars, when you used to rev those cars, yeah. parked, yeah. they used to shake. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was the G63 does. Yeah. Oh, deer. It was a deer just running. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, mate. You get some deer foxes out here. That's nice what. Just steer quite late into this next corner. So you've got this tree on the inside. Yeah. It's just really awkwardly placed. So yeah, nicely done. Good, all the way around to the left. Nice. Which way? We will go straight ahead. 
How are you feeling? Feel all good? Very yeah? good. Yeah. Cool. Should we start doing some of the bigger obstacles? Can do, yeah. yeah? We are going to go, I think we'll go right and left for me. Yeah. Oh, there you go, mate. Has it just dropped in there? The plane just dropped yeah, in. just right here. So you've got that orange cone over there. Yeah. We're going to go right before that cone. Yeah, nicely done. And just roll us in through this water. So just be aware through here. So you've got a wall either side. Yeah. It's just quite narrow through here. So this has been shut for a couple of months now because of how high the walls are. Uh, mm -hmm. Not how high the walls are, sorry. How the water, water. was covering the walls. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just be aware of those. But just let it roll through. Yeah, nice work. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool, isn't it, mate? Yeah. A little bit more lift. Nice. Excellent. We will head out towards the barrier, mate. We're obviously not going to go through the barrier, but just kind of head out that direction. Yeah. So we are going to go left. You'll see there's yeah. these massive boulders just over here. See them over there? Yeah. They're the ones we're going to head to. So head towards them. Now these are probably the worst ones out here for now, right? Take us through super slow. And just kind of roll us around. Take your time. Won't really need any gas here. So if we get stuck, then we'll add a bit of gas. But other than that, just let it roll. Good. So just a tiny bit. Good. Off the gas there, just let it roll. Perfect. Yeah, they're the worst ones, yeah. for sure. Nicely done. Excellent. Straighten that wheel up a little bit. Cool. And then we are going to go into the water and right. Yeah. Take it in slow here. I think we're, yeah, you're good from the left side, so yeah, just drop us in. And we will come to a stop just behind that car. Another G400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite cool, mate. We'll get to watch them kind of uh, head up this hill. Um, and then we'll take it from there as well. Nice work. So yeah, it comes with a stop here. Even when they carry on, we will just stay here, just in case they come back now. Yeah. All right. Um, with this hill, mate, I like to avoid. Can you see? Imagine you were going to go straight up the middle. Yeah. Can you see where your wheels would be? There's like two pale lines. Mm -hmm. I like to avoid them. Yeah. That's where everyone's gone before. They've just worn it away massively, all right? Yeah. No grip there. Yeah. I literally go like a foot left of them. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. So all keep right. left going. Yeah, just, just a foot left of centre. Yeah. Um, and exactly the same way you did the first hill. So you know you kind of... Just a lot more steep here. So just be super, super patient with it. Yeah. Did they give you a logbook today for you? Yes. Yeah? Oh, you've got it down there. Alright, no worries. So, yeah, they've done the same thing. See, they've just gone right side. Yeah. Well, to 4x4, four four, Kios, Matt. No problem. Stick to your location. Nice mate. They kind of roll ahead for now. Once they, once we can't see them anymore, we're good yeah. to go. So just let it roll for now. Is 
that look right? Yeah, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. right, we'll see how we get on. Let's, um, I think that looks pretty good from there. Tiniest bit of left steering. Straighten the wheel up there. Fully straight, fully straight, fully straight. Yeah, there you go, nice. Take your time with that gas. Be super patient. Good. Excellent work. Yeah, nice. Yeah, good. As it levels out, a little bit of right steering. Nice work. Cool. And then just, yeah, off the pedals, mate. Pretty much let it roll down for me. Which way are we going? We will go. We will follow that car just down to the left yeah. hand side. Now, as you can see again, see that car's moving about quite a bit. Yeah. It's quite heavy through here, mate. Right, so just yeah. be aware of that. So, log run through here, you can see there's a lot of jagged edges, and there's yeah. quite a few, you can't see it from here, but there's quite a few just drops. Yeah. So, just kind of off the gas, just let it roll. Same as the rocks. Mm -hmm. If anything, I would say kind of manage the brake, because you can you begin to see there's a couple yeah. of big drops through here. Yeah. Nice, you know, keep that wheel nice and straight. Just because this one on your right here is quite heavy, just about there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Straighten that wheel. Good. Straight those. Good. A little bit of right steering now. Good. Now which way? You're gonna keep rolling through keep and going. we are gonna go left and then right. Okay. So down that muddy bit there. Just down that muddy bit there, mate, yeah. So do you put loads of videos on YouTube then, please? Uh, yeah, I've been Oh yeah, so they just did they're like are they like, like kind of reels kind of things? Yeah, it gets yeah, more nice. traction to the tra channel to yeah. get like more views on the long form content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but suppose it's a, a good way of getting them in with like a short clip, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah this is um this is going to be long form if we can get it. Through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't really know how it works in terms of um yeah. like formatting into YouTube. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, by the sounds of it, mate, it seems like you know what you're doing, kind of getting yeah. into editing the clips and stuff. See another plane coming in there. Yeah. Nice mate. We are going to take the first right coming up, so the diagonal yeah. right just there, yeah. All the way to the end, and then left at the end. Just be aware you might have a car coming down and through there. I think we're all good though. Okay, yeah. Just keep going straight ahead for now. Straight ahead and left at the end. Excellent. And then you've got this little crossroads just up here. We're going to go first left, obviously. Mm -hmm. Straight on. straight on, yeah, yeah. Just be aware of that cone on the left. So a bit of right steering now. Let it roll. Nice work. Cool. Excellent. It's only a bit of left steering. We'll come to a stop just about here. Yeah, good. Stop us there. Cool. So this is the cross axle thing, right? So the ground on the right here is a bit higher than the ground on the left. Yeah. As we roll through, the so mm -hmm. we're going to roll through here. We'll go into manual one. Yeah. So it's just going to hold first gear. Um, we're going to roll through, but it's not going to roll through because of how uneven the ground is. So as we go in, mm -hmm. the right front wheel will drop, well, will go up into the air a little bit. We're going to stop and try and get the car to kind of pivot and kind of tease on two wheels for a little bit, mm -hmm. and then rock over so we get that just that left rear wheel in the yep. air, okay? We've put the centre diff on and the rear diff on, you know how the diffs work mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. So just let it roll in for now. It doesn't need any gas through here at all. Just let it roll. And then when I say that, we'll come on the uh, come on the brake and try and get it to 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 stop in the middle. Keep that right steering on for now. Good. 
straighten the wheel there. Fully straight. Excellent. Keep that wheel straight. Nicely done. Just let it roll. Good. Yeah, nice. Stop us there. Yeah, nice. One way is pretty high, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So straighten that wheel back up. Ease off the brake tiniest bit. Stop us there. Yeah, nice work. So now we've crossed over, so now it's just that left rear. We can feel it, can't we? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's rocking. So now just kind of feather off, and we'll try and bring it down nice and slow. Excellent work, good. Cool, and then we will kind of roll down and we'll go straight ahead. We just, or we'll do though, just because that rear diff's still locked in. Mm -hmm. once, you, once you get straight, just straighten that wheel back up and just let it roll. Nicely done. So yeah, off the gas, just until that unlocks. And then we should be kind of, because sometimes they just get a little bit, little bit stuck in there. At the end, we're going to go left. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Nice, and that's all unlocked. Yeah, yeah. Nice, work, Flynn, good. And again, we came through this way earlier. Just mm. be aware of how big that step up is yeah. just there, all right? So yeah, I would ease off the gas to really just let it roll up. Tiny bit of left straight a little bit there. Yep, good. Straight through here, yeah, yeah. And what we will do, uh, we are going to go straight on. Yeah. So kind of past the see the trees on the left. Mm -hmm. Past those, and then after those, we'll go left. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Going straight ahead, but yeah, after these trees, just go left. Which way is it now? Keep going straight through, and then can you see those jagged kind of wooden beams just there? Yeah, we're gonna go left just before that, mate. There's a little, uh, there's a little puddle. Bring that speed down just a little bit. Yeah, there's so many buttons there, isn't there? Nicely done. Yeah, that's the thing. With all those little kind of... And a lot of them stick out a little bit, don't they? So it's yeah. easy just to, to, to yeah. clip them. Nice work. We are going to come to a stop just before the start of this. Okay. So, this is the Vigo. So, what we are going to do here, now, easiest way to get up this hill, Flynn, would be straight up the middle. Treat it like a normal hill. Yeah. All four wheels in contact the whole time. Yeah. Um, what we'll do, we'll go in through the middle. Yeah. We'll add a bit of left steering. Get up to a bit of an angle. See what sort of angle we get to and then make our way out through the middle, all right? Yeah. Whenever you're ready, just roll us through. Nice, you done good. Got a preface lift behind us. So straighten that wheel just there. Off the gas, quarter turn left steering, just a little bit. Nicely done. Yeah, nice. Straighten that wheel there. Keep that wheel straight. Good. Tiny bit of gas. And just stop just there. So stop us there. Good. Excellent. So we're at about 20 degrees now. All right, so yeah. tipping point of this car is about 35 degrees. Yeah. So you've still got quite a bit of a way to go. Yeah. All right. So easiest way out of here from here: quarter turn right steering. So yeah, just yeah, just quarter turn. Yeah. Off the brake, nice and smooth on the gas. Nice. Right, so both hands on the wheel. Here. Good. Keep that right steering on for now, and now straighten the wheel. Straighten the wheel back up. Good. Just keep it straight from there. Perfect. 
and then you'll see Flynn, there's two cones just over there. Yeah. So you're going to head towards them and exactly what you've done there, right then left. Nicely done. Come to just the steps. So this is the steps. So just yeah. right to the edge, so a little bit further. Stop us just there. Excellent. So yeah, you won't see them at all from here. So mm -hmm. we'll put the camera on. You can see you've got a staircase just here, okay? Yeah. Now, stop us after each step. Doesn't need any gas or anything okay. like that. We're going to try and tiptoe down. And what I want you to try and do is anticipate the next step. So eventually they shouldn't be like drop, drop, drop. It should be kind of just rolling between them. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, take it nice and slow. Nice. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stop us there. Nicely done. So now ease off a little bit. Good. Stop us there. Nicely done. Ease off. Stop us there. Good. Ease off. Stop us there. See, it's not really a drop anymore. It's yeah, like you're just rolling between them. Yeah. Nice work. Excellent. Yeah, really good. And once that the front front end is down, you can kind of just let it roll. Yeah, I and mean we'll go first left. So we're just gonna go straight through. Straight through here, mate, and then we'll take the first left after yeah. this. Just be aware you've got a bit of a drop here as well. Yeah. And what we'll do, we will make our way round, fill your logbook out, and then we'll start making our way back. Yeah. Actually, I mean, just left through here. It's a fast hour. I know, it goes quick, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still got 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes, mate, so you've still got a bit of time left. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't feel like you've been driving 45 minutes, does it? Yeah. Nah. It's not like going down the motorway for 45 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, not like being stuck in traffic. Yeah. That's the thing as well, kind of with the hour as well. So you have like the first kind of 20 minutes just getting used to the vehicle. Yeah. And then once you get to the bigger obstacles, that's when it kind of just flies by, you know? Yeah. Now which way? We'll let them go, and then we are going to go left and then right into the big water, uh, the big puddle just over there. Yeah. And then... Yeah, just into the puddle, yeah, yeah, And then just kind of follow the water, see where it goes right? Yeah. Excellent. So just ease up, just bring it just a little bit, mate, and then we'll go just on the grass first, yeah. just over there. So literally steer left here. Straighten the wheel up there. Good. Stop us just here. Nice. Cool. Press park for me right at the end. Silver button right at the end of the gear stick. That one's there. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Come off the pedals, mate. You can relax a little bit. Have you got your logbook there? Yeah, it's written there. Sorry. Thank you, sir. Come Sorry, mate. The lights on the phone's come on. Oh, okay, no worries. Just turn it off. <laughs> How was that, though, mate? All good? Yeah, brilliant. You enjoy it, yeah? Yeah. Good stuff, bro. Drove well, mate. Thank you. Was it kind of, uh, was like the driving just in general, kind of what you expected? Easier than I expected. Yeah? A lot easier, yeah. I was expecting it to be like really. Just tough. like a lot more, having to think about a lot more things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is out here, I mean, you obviously have to be aware of all of the. You know, you've got the trees, the logs, rocks, yeah. things like that. But, you know, it's not like hopping onto a road straight away, is it? Do you know what I mean? It's quite yeah. nice. Um, uh, it's cool to see them actually in kind of their, yeah. you know, in their element as well, isn't it? Yeah. Really good driving, mate. Thank you. Um, yeah, all pretty easy work for you, Flynn, isn't it? Yeah. Um, 
What was your favourite part out there, do you reckon, mate? Like going downstairs. Okay, like, like going downstairs, yeah. And I like the angle bit, the first one we did down. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if I said to you, mate, so it was a skill, so like your speed out here, so not so much going fast, but your speed for the conditions, speed for the obstacles, mm -hmm. what would you kind of rate it out of 10? So, one not being great, 10 being, you know, really, really good. What do you think out of 10? I think it was good, but I do like to go fast. <laughs> what so do you reckon, mate? I'd put it higher. Yeah. Uh, 89. Yeah. What would you say? I'd probably say, yeah, I'd say like an 8. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing out here, isn't it? Like, as you've seen, it's quite a slow speed course. Yeah. You know, and it's so tempting, isn't it, to be like, yeah. you know, you've got all that kind of power and torque under your foot. Yeah. I mean, even 9 miles an hour feels a lot faster than, yeah. like, when you're a passenger. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Because it's like, you're not, like, paying attention, particularly as a passenger, but when yeah. you're in the driver's seat, it's like, whoa. Yeah. Why are you steering, mate? I'd say that's higher as well but I'm not sure yeah. where 8 or 9 again 8 or 9 ok what would you say I would probably say about the same 80 most I mean first time driving mm -hmm. but you know you've got a very good understanding about mm -hmm. cars and driving in general yeah. mate but there was no times I had to catch the wheel or anything like that yeah. you know it was all very very chilled out mate I thought it was really good Thank and you. then what about your hill climbs I'd probably say higher again 9 or 10 yeah nice one so Yeah, I'll probably say like an 8 or 9. I mean, it was... We didn't have to redo any of them, did we? No. Went up all of them first time. Yeah. Went up the V gully, down the steps, which, you know, is a is a big obstacle to do for mm -hmm. your first time driving. Yeah. I thought it was, yeah, good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, before we head back... There's your log book just there. Yeah, right? thank you. Before we head back, do just like a 360 check. Just make sure there's no other cars. I think we're all good. Then. Yeah, so if you're happy to go, mate, put on the brake, clip it down into drive, all the way down and we'll head up that, that hill just up there mate. now with this one I would just take this one kind of one step at a time yeah um, just because it's it is quite bumpy mate. so just yeah. yeah just one step at a time please. yeah nice work Good. And then we will roll towards the waterfall, mate. Same again, actually let it roll through, just be aware of the walls either side. So do you have like a do you have like a sim at home or anything? Clean at all, yeah? Yeah. I've got the wheel on. Bit more left. Okay, so what games do you play on there? I don't really play it much nah. anymore, but a bit of Forza. Okay, nice, nice. Four on five. So Xbox then, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice, that way, good. Excellent, and then we'll kind of make our way out and towards the barrier, mate. But even that, I suppose, a little bit of right steering there. Thing could, even that will just give you a little bit of an understanding, mm -hmm. you know, it feels to drive. completely different. Oh, massively, doesn't it? I feel like with those, especially if you play like the F1 Sims, yeah, they're so kind of hypersensitive. Yeah, they are. But it's, yeah. um, Played, I had 22. Yeah, it's just hard work, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's like really hard. Which way? Uh, yeah. Straight through to the barrier. You can go obviously a little bit quicker down little here. Bit, yeah. But, um, yeah. I don't want to do too so much. So, if you come to a stop just about. Yeah, it's just about here for you, so stop just there. So 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 Put the gear stick up into neutral, the tiniest bit. Back down into drive. All the way down to the clicks. Yeah, there you go. You're good to go. But be aware, that's going to feel quite, um, 
responsive now compared to what it has been because you're back mm -hmm. in higher range. But how was that looking? All good. Good. Yeah. yeah you enjoy it? Yeah. Really good. good. Really good driving, mate. Thank you. Really good. What do we think of the G wagon then? So live up to the expectations. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Still want one? Yeah. Okay. Good. Want one more now? <laughs> Like I said, it's cool to actually see it out there, isn't it? You know, doing, yeah, yeah. showing what it can do because yeah. they're they're not really bought for that out here. Yeah, I mean, most owners would never do that because no. they're what starting price of the G three hundred and fifty is at hundred, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit more. It's a big wait time on these at the moment, mate. It's over yeah. two years at the moment. Yeah. So. I mean, people are buying them and selling them for tens, tens of thousands more. Exactly, than exactly. Yeah. So yeah, just head a head uh, a head, mate. We'll go up and right. Um, and then we'll kind of, once we get back to, to where we swapped over, we'll just swap over there again, Finn. Yep. So he's off just a little bit down here. Just after kind of all this mud, we'll go left. So just before that car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just left here. Do you want to turn off? All the way around. And then just stop us just there. Cool. Press park for me right at the end. Cool. Come around this side, mate. Brilliant. Thank you. Nice driving, Flim.